Well, our night did not go as expected. We have one sled. The other one is just out of sight over there. Uh, it's really hard to tell, but when we hit this lake, there's holes in it. And the uh, like overburden or water's coming up through the ice. And uh, we have a sled with all of our gear, all of our food, all of our sleeping stuff, all, all of our stuff except for firewood there. So we spent the night in this quite nice public use cabin. Gorgeous spot, but the trail is not defined. There's tracks everywhere, which is crazy, but I think this last snowstorm, the weight of the snow pushed the water through and I got bogged and almost stuck towing all the fuel and firewood. And I gunned it, lifted, the whole front end lifted. I got a lot of power um, and left like a two foot water trough behind me. Um, so after about four hours of digging and trying to get out, we had to abandon it. Kate had a roll her whole way. There's another hole. Th this water. It's quite scary. It's 35 below or 29 below right now. And we survived. Now we got to try to figure out how to get out of here. So we have enough firewood that we think will last us two days, 10 gallons of extra fuel, assuming that we'd be riding for two days. It's going to be very cold, negative 35 degrees, um, additional um, during the day, I think it rises here, negative 10, low, negative 29, negative 30. It's going to be cold. Unfortunately, the sleds are already covered in ice. Um, this is at my house before we left. This is the report from Nancy Lake area. It says 14 inches of new snow, 34 inches snow depth with 12 inches of ice. So we think it's fine. No real mention of overflow or water. Um, there is a mention that says don't go outside unless absolutely necessary. It's kind of going to be an interesting time. Um, this is the last time we see really Kate's sled happy. Negative 20 out and we made it to the trailhead. It's about five and a half miles um, to the cabin. Uh, Nancy Lake area. There's a bunch of um, state use cabins you just pay online. So we have two sleds. We'll get them unloaded here in a minute. And behind the snow machines, we'll have two of these trailers. One's basically just filled with wood because it's going to be, I think, negative 35 tonight. Can't get over how nice it is. Absolutely gorgeous out here. We might be the only ones crazy enough to go out here. All right, after about an hour and a half, we got it running. Battery was dead. That sucked. Well, because 35 below. We're loaded. Trailer's empty. I probably sound funny because I got helmet and all my stuff on. Kate's got hers, her trailer, we're good to go. Nobody's been on it. Kate's trying to see where that is. We just came from there. Oh, shit. Oh, blood started, thank thankfully. I don't know what that is. And 
there's a map, I think, there. So we're trying to figure it out. So, yeah. And Kate's in charge. It's, that's fun. She's a little bit angry at me. <laughs> All right. I'll check in later. Well, our night did not go as expected. We have one sled. The other one is just out of sight over there. Uh, it's really hard to tell, but when we hit this lake, there's holes in it. And the uh, like overburden or water's coming up through the ice. And uh, we have a sled with all of our gear, all of our food, all of our sleeping stuff, all, all of our stuff except for firewood there. So we spent the night in this quite nice public use cabin. Gorgeous spot, but the trail is not defined. There's tracks everywhere, which is crazy, but I think this last snowstorm, the weight of the snow pushed the water through and I got bogged and almost stuck towing all the fuel and firewood and I gunned it, lifted, the whole front end lifted, I got a lot of power, um, and left like a two foot water trough behind me. Um, so after about four hours of digging and trying to get out, we had to abandon it. Kate had to roll her whole way, there's another hole, this water. It's quite scary. It's 35 below, or 29 below right now. And we survived. Now we gotta try to figure out how to get out of here. Cabin's kind of cute inside. This is how most of the public use cabins look. Bed's there, bed there. That's Kate, fire. Yeah. So believe it or not, this wood. So we've only been here 15 hours or something, maybe, not okay. even. This was stacked to here. We have burned almost everything. Kate slept in this chair. <laughs> <laughs> There's Kate. Just a little, <laughs> little cat naps, feeding the fire all night long. Yeah. <laughs> I wrapped myself on a survival blanket and slept on and off there. With the heater, Mr. Buddy on low. The Mr. Buddy on low with two new propane tanks died after about seven hours. Yeah, about there. You can see it's that's snow, yeah. and this fire's been going for all, all the entire time. The, and the water is ironically not too frozen. Yeah, it was frozen when we got here, so yes. we've been drying stuff. Kate was soaked. Right. Kate, her legs, her arms, her, everything. She crawled out of a watery death hole, unfortunately, which we still have to go through. So. Try not to dwell too much on that. Um, but yeah, and then table and there's other sleeping here and there. But yeah, so we have no food. We have water, a chainsaw, fuel. Chainsaw is electric though, so that won't last forever. And a chair that was already here. And enough firewood for one night, even though I thought it would be good for the weekend. And our plan is to evacuate. And unfortunately, we are going to just try to survive across that lake. Because we have to get from there. You can't see it, but over there, this is one of about nine lakes or so that we crossed with an unmarked, very hard to find trail. Um, but we we just gotta follow our tracks home. So yeah, um, if we post this video, we live. Um, <laughs> if not, I guess this is the last time people are gonna hear from us. So yeah, um, kind of a, sobering, sombering, I don't know what the right word is, experience, and probably made us rethink snow machining on lakes. 
I know people do it all the time and good for them. And there's people that go ice fishing and lose their trucks, but uh, none of this is worth our lives. So, oh yeah, and every two hours I got up to start the snow machine because at the beginning of this, it didn't start and it was, it's negative 27 right now. So every couple hours we started it because we don't have a way to jumpstart it because the other sled is permanently frozen in a lake, halfway buried. Hopefully it's still there, we'll find out. Well, we made it. Um, I went as fast as I could across the lakes. There's the inside of my helmet. Kate couldn't see anything. Uh, so, one sled, one machine, and the truck went rah, 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 rah. Yeah, thankfully the truck started and yeah, so far we're down maybe 12,000 for the day. Yeah. So hopefully we'll have some better news for the end of this video. If not, we're alive. Um, yeah, I don't know how this is gonna look, but we're alive. Alright, right. Right, Kate's mumbling again. She's got the personalities. Say bye, Kate. Alright, I unloaded it. It's been a day. Got back Saturday, it's Monday. That chunk just fell out as I unloaded it. That's hard as a rock. Those are just... What's crazy is that's just leftover ice. Now, build up on the snow machine is somewhat normal, right? But after riding through that slush, I chiseled this out that night. And here's what's left. Here's what's left. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. So we're gonna pull it in the garage, let it thaw out, clear the trailer off, clear the driveway. Try to get this battery maintained. Yeah, fun. <laughs>